We sell burning bushes at our nursery and tree farm, but you don't have to buy a burning bush. You can grow them just like we do, and they're easy to grow and propagate. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it. When you're out in the field or in the woods, sometimes you come upon a small burning bush that's growing, like this one right here. This will be an easy candidate to propagate. What we'll do is take a pair of snippers and snip it off and then take it with us. It readily cuts and there's also larger ones that you can find as well and get lots of cuttings from the burning bushes that you find. Here's some samples of the branches that we've taken from wild burning bushes. We cut them into little strips just as you see like this and then what we do is we begin the process of rooting them. First we start with a prob prob compound called Hormodin 3 and we dip it in and shake off the excess and then we put this cutting into potting soil. just as you see. We put three or four together in a pot, sometimes five or six. And when we're ready, with a bunch of them in the pot, we take a cup. Yeah, so an old recycled jar or jug will work and put it down over top and it'll act as a mini greenhouse and keep them nice and moist. The next step is just to water them in just a little bit so they have adequate amounts of moisture for the plant. It may take a month or two for these to root out, but they will root out. And when they do, you'll have more burning bushes. And you can make mini greenhouses out of all kinds of recycled plastic. We do it at, here at Highland Hill Farm, and I propagate between 50 and 100 new plants every day this way. If you need help with plant selections, call us at Highland Hill Farm. We'd be glad to offer assistance.